Mona Lukman is the founder of Food for Humanity and joins us now from Cairo. Mona, thank you so much for your time. Uh, is it really a question of there not being enough uh, produce uh, from Russia and Ukraine, or is there a question of supply because Ukraine especially can't get the produce and the agricultural goods out of its ports? Well, I think I think the, the, the issue is uh, uh, for Yemen, uh, for instance, um, as the deadly conflict has been persisting and the military escalation is uh, continuing in Yemen. Um, I think the double burden in Yemen um, has become um, uh, overwhelming. Uh, Yemenis are unable to to uh, access the food and health services that they need. This is from one point. And then the other point is the import uh, the um, the imports of the the wheat. Yemen is completely dependent on um, on imports of uh, of the wheat and um, ninety percent of its um, uh, imports are re uh, are dependent on that. Now, the, 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 a few days ago, the private sector even uh, called for uh, an alarming statement uh, led by the HSA group, the largest group in Yemen. And they said that they are unable now because of two things, mainly uh, the significant delays in food imports and the marked up prices that have um, created, the, uh, created the cost and the impacts of the Ukrainian-Russian uh, war. And um, I think that this is now, um, we're already seeing it. Um, uh, there is still food supplies in Yemen, but people are not able to reach it from one side. And the other uh, is that it's it's really um, declining. And the um, um, the other issues that the Yemenis are also facing is that they have also not had not had their um, salaries from the pr uh, public sector. The loss of livelihoods. Uh, all of this has left the people without the purchase to to, to the, ab the ability to purchase what's left in the. Um, uh, in, in the market. Um, so the, the private sector now um, is calling on um, the international community to provide financing mechanisms or to provide some sort of solutions to at least um, uh, support the economic crisis and the wheat crisis in particular, uh, especially that uh, there's also a ban um, for Yemen uh, from India. And so all of this has causing um, is causing all of this devastation as humanitarians. Um, for instance, we are already seeing uh, the um, the impact of the food crisis uh, around the world, um, both from the conflict inside Yemen and from the external shocks. And uh, in addition to climate change impacts and flooding, that's also um, causing issues in Yemen. So, Mona Lukman, thank you very much.